Kentucky Kingdom is countersuing two of its regular patrons, saying that they filed a false claim to extort money from the park. But the couple's lawyer says the claim is real. WLKY's Ann Bowden joins us now live from the amusement park with more. Ann? Rick, the executives here at Kentucky Kingdom say safety is number one, but they will not tolerate any kind of false lawsuits, so they are setting precedents with this. But when you talk to the couple's attorney, he says all of the claims are legitimate. It's a wonderful place to bring your family. This is video of Felicia Evans in a promotion for Kentucky Kingdom before it reopened in May. Five months later, she and her friend, Brandon McClellan, filed a lawsuit. There's nothing more important than the safety of our guests. And for any guests to disparage Kentucky Kingdom, we're just not going to let it happen. Especially when it's false claims, and especially when it's some kind of plan to contrive incidents to get money from Kentucky Kingdom. Evans and McClellan fell out of a double inner tube in June, going down the orange water slide, the Voodoo Express. The couple's lawyer did a public interview saying his clients were injured because the lifeguards at the park were negligent and that the double inner tube used was the wrong one. But in their counterclaim, Ed Hart and the park's attorneys say the inner tube met qualifications, but the couple did not wait for the lifeguard to give the okay. They also pointed out the couple was 70 pounds over the weight limit of 400 pounds. All throughout the park, there are alerts and warnings saying it's the patron's responsibility to know their weight and the park's weight limits for rides. Also before the lawsuit, Evans' season pass was revoked after she scaled a fence in a restricted area near a roller coaster. For obvious reasons, we were always very suspicious of this claim. And this suspicion was confirmed when a courageous friend, a courageous friend of Ms. Evans, came forward to do the right thing and submitted an affidavit attesting to the fact that Ms. Evans told her friends that she planned to intentionally get hurt at Kentucky Kingdom in order to obtain a settlement. But attorney Hal Friedman says since his interview, he's had at least five other complaints, and one from a woman he says wrote to the park about the slide and injuries she received. Friedman still questions the inner tubes. As far as we know, either that or a potential problem with the weight limitation, but something caused that tube to flip. And I think we can all probably be uh, on a, in agreement that in a park setting like this, in the absence of some extremely odd circumstance, a tube should not flip inside of a water slide like this and cause injury. Now, Rick, according to attorney Friedman, Evans is suffering from seizure like conditions, and McClellan injured his shoulder and arm. Now, he again says that he's not sure that he's going to take the other people who have called in as clients, and he's not exactly sure of all of their injuries, but they did contact him. And as far as the park is concerned, they said they had about 50,000 patrons on their slides during the season, at least 50,000, and this is the first lawsuit. That has come to them. Reporting live here at Kentucky Kingdom, Ann Bowden, WLKY News.